Good morning, everyone. Uh, I've already had my coffee. I'm, I have to cut down. Uh, having some issues with all the caffeine. So it's uh, uh, water this morning. Mmm. Satisfying. Um, <clears throat> but on my way up to work, uh, I was listening to uh, Stefan Molyneux uh, being uh, interviewed by Ruben. And I, I'm, I can only get little bits and pieces here and there as I'm, as I'm trying to get ready. Uh, but he, they got into, uh, atheism, uh, morality, uh, the Weinstein issue with Hollywood and how Hollywood seems to be particularly corrupt, uh, as far as pedophilia and, uh, Uh, Stefan is trying to link, or is linking, the loss of morality and the rise of statism and the moral collapse. I'm not quite sure why he's saying the general moral collapse. A lot of Stephen Molyneux I agree with, uh, but... I disagree with how he gets there. So this is a, a, a brief as I'm before I have to go. Uh, but he, he's he's trying to correlate the rise of atheism to all this other negative stuff that because it, there's more and more atheists or seculars that the state is getting more power and that religion. The benefits of religion helped keep that in check. And I'm going to have to say, <laughs> prove it. I, I, I would need you, uh, Stefan, to sh tell me exactly how atheism, the rise of atheism, is the cause of this. As I come at it from a slightly different perspective, a completely opposite perspective, that atheism... Uh, rising is a result of our higher education, uh, the internet particularly, uh, where people are now able to, instead of just living in their own little community and going to church and having their authority figures tell them what's real and tell them how to think and point at this one book, uh, they're now able to, even sitting in church, go, what did he say? Pull out their phone, look that up and go, well, that's bullshit. It doesn't even say that. So the rise of atheism, in my mind, is obviously more education and exposure to <clears throat> other thoughts and ideas. Uh, and when you compare, when you have access to another idea, you compare that to the idea that's been shoved down your throat by religion, in particular. <clears throat> uh, because he also, he, he says being atheist is the, he is atheist. He, he, that, that is the... If you're going by empirical evidence, religion is indefensible. It's it's obviously not true. But somehow he's relating the the loss of the religious philosophies that and 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 the rejection of uh, the philosophy along with a religion, throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Uh, with religion is the issue is why we have this moral degradation and I would also I, I guess most ask uh, did we not have moral degradation during Nazi Germany let's pull the Hitler card right away did we not have it during Stalin uh, did we not have uh, with Pol Pot all the and these are atheist uh, a lot of them, uh, Hitler was, of course, uh, Catholic, but some of the others were, were the atheists. But it wasn't the atheism that brought down moral... Uh, it, we've always been there. There's uh, Power corrupts, of course. So I, I don't see... My problem is I, uh, I wish he wouldn't correlate the rise of atheism with the rise of of statism and uh, moral degradation. It's not... Those things are happening 
although I'd, I would I would argue that the moral degradation uh, was always there and disguised under religion. Uh, I mean, it's not like the philosophies of religion stopped priests from fondling young boys, right? So the the rise of religion, I could also argue, the rise of religion caused all of these moral degradations and and issues in the world. I I personally believe it's the economy, uh, income inequality, um, the insecurity of of the future. We're now in a place that humanity has never been, and it's going faster, and we're getting more and more confused. Uh, also, with the uh, the more exposure of uh, sexual misconduct. We are hairless monkeys that are mostly at the whim of our urges. Uh, I don't believe for a second that it wasn't just as bad a hundred years ago, or just as bad or worse a thousand years ago. It's just now victims are able to post their issues and have the world see them, and they're able to call out and publicly shame in mass the the people that are doing this I, I don't think this is a new thing uh, I, uh, like my dad always is uh, remembering the good old days when cops didn't kill people all the time no no they always killed people <laughs> I I can point out you know 50 100 years ago uh, I would imagine there's some black people that would argue with the fact that cops didn't kill people way back in the good old days so none of this is new and to blame it on atheism uh, and the la lack of morality or the loss of morality because of religious doctrine. Uh, philosophy has always been there. We have always had philosophy. It doesn't have to be tied to religion. Ah, I gotta go. <clears throat> Good morning.